Today, we're uncovering one of Hollywood's biggest shockers. Jennifer Lopez has officially filed for divorce from Ben Affleck on their second wedding anniversary. Yes, you heard that right. Just two years after their highly publicized wedding, Benifer is no more. And here's the kicker. There's no prenup. What does this mean for the megastar couple? Why did this whirlwind romance come to an abrupt end? Stick with us, and we'll break down everything we know about this unfolding drama. So, let's rewind a bit. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's love story started way back in 2002. Remember that? Benifer was the couple, constantly in the tabloids and on every red carpet. They first got together on the set of Geely, a movie that may have bombed, but their chemistry was undeniable. After a whirlwind romance, an engagement, and endless media attention, they called it quits in 2004, just days before their wedding. Fast forward 17 years, and they decided to give it another shot. It felt like a fairy tale, two stars who had matured, finding love again after all these years. But as we've learned, real life isn't a Hollywood script. Jennifer filed for divorce on August 20th, 2024, which also happened to be their second wedding anniversary. According to sources, the separation date was listed as April 26th, meaning they've been apart for months. But why? What went wrong for a couple who seemed to have it all? One of the most shocking revelations in this divorce is that there was no prenup. Let that sink in. Jennifer Lopez, with her $400 million net worth, and Ben Affleck, worth around $150 million, didn't sign any agreement to protect their individual assets. What does that mean legally? It means that everything they earned during their two-year marriage could be considered community property, meaning it's up for division. We're talking about multi-million dollar movie projects, brand deals, and even Jennifer's self-funded film This Is Me. Now, a love story, which chronicles their rekindled romance. And let's not forget, they work together on the upcoming movie Unstoppable. How's that going to play out now? Jennifer's been incredibly busy since marrying Ben, with four films released, a new cocktail line, and plans for a world tour that she later canceled to focus on family. On Ben's side, he's had major projects as well, starring in Air and Hypnotic, and wrapping up production on the Accountant sequel. Despite their individual success, insiders say money was a major point of tension. In fact, They've reportedly been locked in tense settlement talks for months, sometimes going so far as to stop speaking entirely. The divorce filing may come as a shock to many fans, but if you've been paying close attention, there were signs. The couple spent most of this summer apart. Jennifer was largely on the East Coast while Ben stayed in Los Angeles. They didn't even spend their anniversary together in July. In fact, Ben wasn't at Jennifer's lavish birthday bash in the Hamptons either. The distance, both physical and emotional, was growing, and ultimately, it seems that was the final straw. Without a prenup, the stakes are high, but interestingly, Jennifer isn't seeking spousal support and has asked that Ben be denied it as well. Still, dividing assets without a prenup is messy. Their $68 million Beverly Hills mansion was listed for sale just a year after they bought it, but so far, it hasn't sold. Meanwhile, Ben has already closed on a $20.5 million bachelor pad in the Pacific Palisades, something insiders are calling the closure of their relationship. But for Jennifer, it reportedly felt like a stab to the heart. Let's not forget about their blended families. Jennifer has 16-year-old twins with Mark Anthony, and Ben has three kids with his ex-wife Jennifer Garner. Jennifer formed a strong bond with Ben's kids, and they with hers. This split isn't just affecting the two stars, it's impacting five children who've built relationships over the last few years. Sources say Jennifer is still struggling to accept that it's really over. She's hurt, angry, and feels betrayed. To make matters worse, 
The couple has been communicating through business managers rather than lawyers or speaking directly. It's messy, it's complicated, and it's a long way from the love story we all thought would have a happy ending. So, what's next for Benefer? And more importantly, what does this mean for the future of their careers, their families, and their public images? One thing's for sure, the divorce is just the beginning of a much bigger story that will unfold over the coming months. As fans, we can only watch from the sidelines, but we'll be here to keep you updated every step of the way. Thank you for tuning into the fame journey. We know this is a tough story for many of you who have been rooting for Jennifer and Ben, but sometimes...